Five, six, seven, eight, go. Come on, small, go, 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 Here. Why is this group, why are y'all so late? Everybody that comes in do not like Mr. Green. They don't like me. Five, six, seven, go, go. Keep on going. Hello, Naya. Naya, you, Naya, you look weak. You look weak. You got to go. You got to give me energy all the way off. When I first met Mr. Green, um, he was intimidating, I should say. Run, let's go. Stop pity pattern. Run like you have joy in your heart. Ready? Five. Actually, when I was younger, I was scared. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Excuse me, stop running your mouth, Alex. Go five. When I first began, it used to make me cry because I felt that I was like real weak and I couldn't take it. Yeah. She went over this yesterday. You, you, you should know that this is, goes all the way, right, man? He's um really, I don't know how to say it. So you gotta go fast, we waiting on you, ma'am. Sometimes he gets like really hard on us, but I know it's for a reason, so we can look good. He expects a lot out of you. No, he, uh -oh, he wants you to work hard, be consistent. Oh, boom, go, Cheer. right, you wanna do that. That's what you we started the dance program about four years ago. I felt that there was a need for affordable dance classes for the students. And uh, uh, while there are lots of choices in town, many are very exceptionally expensive. And we want to make sure what stays in? Our belly. Our belly. <laughs> and we want to make sure what? Shoulders down, we to make sure this stays. We started with 19 students on a Saturday program four years ago. We are currently serving more than 600, almost 700 students, and the pace of the growth was very, very quick. I was thinking, yes, there is a need that needs to be fulfilled. I wasn't expecting that big of a need. Go, turn, ah! I went and visited the program and saw how amazing and rigorous the dance program was. And we were really interested in could they cast a really wide net and make this opportunity available across the whole city. And that's what they've done. They're now in seven or eight sites. Five, six feet, go. Go one, two, go three, go, go up. As Mr. Green, the artistic director of the Academy, would say, we're not going to sugarcoat what it's going to look like. It's not a walk in the park. It requires lots of discipline, lots of work. But it's the only way that you can really produce a program that gives excellent results. I tell the parents from the first day, everything that you heard about me is absolutely true. You have to have discipline when you come up in here. Our expectations are high. Seven, let's go. And one, slow, eat it. Slow. I like to play basketball, and dance actually helps me because it actually helps you be able to put more power in your shot, so it normally goes in most of the time. Alex was not always a very talkative child. When he was much smaller, he, we was, he was the type completely quiet. I will watch everything, and he'll say things here and there. It's made him more outspoken. The confidence, that's what dance has given him. I got turned on to dance by, well, my grandmother. She really opened this opportunity up for me to be able to, you know, go into something like this because for a male it was harder. I was getting judgments and because I was doing this kind of art form, you know. There's a lot of girls that does it. Yes, I want a hug. <laughs> he faces a lot of, um, how would I say, uh, people saying things to him. That makes his life a little miserable, you know, like calling him names. Those are the things, you know, that we talk about that I always tell him to don't worry about what people say because you know who you are. When I was dancing, it's like I forgot about everything that was happening in the world that was going on around me, all the bad things. It's so crazy when you're dancing, how you forget about all the bad things that's going on in your life. 
In addition to mastery, it's also about resilience, the kind of resilience that you can learn in one area of your life that can be applicable to others. And so it's about hitting a barrier and then being able to overcome that in terms of your craft and excellence, but those skills are ones that are really transferable. It's taught me to be a stronger person and a more intelligent person, not just movement-wise, but in here. Um, I have a lot of more things that I needed to know before I go off to college or go off into the real world. It's taught me to know my worth. You have to work more and like pay attention a lot so you can get your moves right. You have to make sure you look at every detail so you can get casted in the part or you don't get cut. When Rihanna started walking, she wasn't even a year old yet. And she started walking, but she would walk on her toes. So she would just kind of bounce around everywhere. If the kids didn't have anywhere to go, such as dance and have the love for dance, they'll be just lost. They'll be out in the street. They may be getting in some kind of trouble or something. So I feel that for them to be able to take the time to come in every day like they do is, is, is wonderful. It's like family. They're like my brothers and my sisters. We laugh and joke and play and stuff. Then we have a walk. He shows them how to do it, and he always does his noises, boom, click, clack, pop, pop. And I always wonder, like, what does that mean? <laughs> Hop, pop, 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 go, boom. That's like one, two, and three, four, and five. In the dance where we don't count, we do sounds. Takadi, takadi, taka, kunga, tika, tika, ka, kunga. So now my students are saying all of that, and they're trying to remark me. <laughs> Five, six, go! Go shot, ha! Shot, ooh, ah, go, ah! It's just like a natural instinct that's in you. And the music is what drives you. The beat. You move off of the beat. And it's like chemistry. Go! Movement is a very natural thing. People dance. People dance socially. People dance culturally. Movement is something that youth especially love to do. I worked in a school keeping kids still was a difficult thing to do. Um, but give them a way in which to express themselves through movement, um, and they latch onto it. Five, six, seven, eight, two. I come from a broken family, you know, just single mom, raising five boys. So I grew up in the projects. So I had a lot of tough skin. I don't do fairy tales, I do real life stories. Every ballet that I do is about everything that goes on around me, inside of me, through my family, friends, you know, um, things that's happening in the world. <laughs> All of them are me. I see myself when I was their age. I'm like, oh my God, I was like that. Everybody where I go say, I know that's a Mr. Green student right there. When you put your life into them, yes, you, they will become a little bit of you. This is you all show, yes? Yes. Y'all did the work, now enjoy it. Is that clear? Yes. You have an exciting audience, so bask in it, yes? Yes. Bye -bye, guys. He was literally depressed for two days when he realized that the show was going to be over. And we said, it's okay, he said, but I belong here. He said, this is like family. He said, this is where I belong. When you see them on a stage, you're like, wow, like, they really did a lot. He, he taught them a lot. I've seen a lot of determination. He was always a determined kid. We know that having access to high quality arts is important and it's simply not fair that some people can't seem to afford and then don't have a place to go to get it. Cultural assets build healthier cities. There is that kind of energy that they really want it. And they want to show to the rest of the world how powerful and how beautiful they are. And it 
gives you goosebumps. Like. <laughs> this work important for me because it allows us to dream and know that our dreams are closer than we think they are. It helps us to live for something more. Mm -hmm.